Has a middle-aged man rocking a baseball cap on camera ever had anything profound to say? I can't think of a single thing, but they had a lot to say anyways about turning red. This is a rant video. It's gonna be all over the board. I'm gonna try my best to keep on message, but the message is kind of all over the place to begin with, so I'm already setting myself up for failure. I should also throw this out right away. If you're a grown adult online calling another adult woke, you can just piss right off. This isn't gonna be for you. Go ahead and dislike, say bye, whatever, unsub if you're subbed. You will not like what I have to say here. You are also not really an adult, but a child and a sad individual that needs to rethink your priorities. If everything is woke now, nothing. Nothing at all is woke. You've, you've abused the word. You've ruined it. Congratulations, it's now literally of 2022. I only bring this up because Turning Red was of course called a woke film and people that liked it are woke. And oh, also the Batman was woke because there was black people in there playing the part of what used to be a white character in the comics. A comic book series that featured like 99% white characters. And also Catwoman had previously been played by black actresses and it didn't seem to be a problem then. Or it probably was in their heads, but they didn't have the megaphone they have now, which is social media, to really bitch with like-minded dumbasses. Listen to me, fools. It's a skin pigmentation. That's what you're mad about. A skin pigmentation. And I get it, there's people that are hardcore about their, their lore and they want people to look as close to the comics as possible. But when your comic book series, or I don't know, like all comics back in the day, back in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, were predominantly white characters. I mean, come on. Who gives a crap? Again, I already told you to leave if you were gonna put woke in the comments. I already told you to get the hell off my channel. I don't wanna hear it anymore. I'm just so sick of it. Let me watch some fucking movies without having to deal with you ignorant assholes all the time. I guess I'm extra perturbed this week because I watched Turning Red with my family, my nine-year-old son, my wife, my 13-year-old daughter appropriately. I didn't know at the time this was about a 13-year-old girl going through changes, both physically and mentally, having to struggle with her emotions. And yet I'm told by online critics this is an alienating film. That's not for them. It makes them feel uncomfortable. Yeah. Okay, why does it make you feel uncomfortable? Maybe do some reflection on that. What did the movie do to you that makes you feel so bad inside? Oh, the movie's not for you? Oh, okay. Well, who's it for then? Just girls? Because I'm a father. I have a daughter. I can relate. I had a sister at one point. I had a mother at one point. I can see different viewpoints. I can see struggles. I have my own struggles. When I came of age, man, I, I mean, Holy shit, I also saw a comment that said, uh, the movie makes them horny. This film made them a little, little horny. Holy God, what? I guess it's inappropriate because the 13 year old girl was drawing a boy that she liked as a merman. Merman. <laughs> merman. I'd also be very interested to know if these same pearl clutchers had issues with films that came out in the 80s and 90s, like, I don't know, The Sandlot? You know, a film revolving around a bunch of adolescent boys who play baseball and pretend like they're drowning so they can make out with a hot female lifeguard? That's probably fine though, they're just objectifying a young woman. I don't know a single person that's upset about that. My daughter's seen Sandlot, we love that movie. What about The Goonies? There's plenty of talk in that film as well in interaction with girls and boys. These are things that are normal and natural. Why are we ashamed of them? We're trying to hide it from our kids. Yet. These same children are allowed to watch a person get their head cut off by an axe because it's an Avenger doing it. Obviously, I'm going to be losing subscribers on this video, but I'm just at the point now where I'm fed up, okay? I want to watch a movie and talk about the merits of the film. The story, the characters, the visuals, the music, you know, the things that make a movie. Not so much the, this wasn't for my whole family, so now I'm mad and I'm going to spend an hour bitching about it online. How about you actually discuss the film instead of getting hung up on one or two different portions of it that are so meaningless it's beyond parody at this point that you're spending so much time on it? I saw multiple comments on Twitter. This isn't from one individual. I'm not going after Sean Chandler or someone. I, he seems like a very nice guy. Completely insane thoughts on this movie, but he seems like a nice guy and I'm sure he'll see this video. Uh, only love, only love, sir. But since I brought him up, 
And I did watch his review because I saw some of his tweets and I was, I was, I guess, a little curious as to what he thought. Honestly, I thought he was just going to say the movie's a little too boring. Uh, the structure wasn't quite right. He didn't understand the message, which I think is very clear. Um, but no, he like went all in on, on like these little things. Like the, the girls were annoying. He hated the girls because he's been with teenage girls before and, and they, they're the worst. That doesn't seem like much of a gripe about the movie, but a personal issue. Uh, the same with the single line towards the end where one of the girls says, my body, my choice. In the context of the film, she has panda ears and a tail and the mom's like, hey, put those away. And she's like, my body, my choice. It was a silly throwaway joke that yes, does have references to political ideologies, I guess. Uh, uh, my body, my choice, obviously with abortion. My body, my choice also for anti-mask wearers. Um, it has multiple contexts, but yes, obviously the main one is abortion, but it wasn't making a statement there. It was one joke in a movie. Holy crap, we're getting really offended now, aren't we? The Batman was also woke because Catwoman said something about white privilege at one point. I honestly, even, I missed the line when I saw it because the movie's three fucking hours long. Um, I didn't care. I, I guess that's that's a big thing for people is white privilege shouldn't be talked about or it's it's not real or I don't want to have to think about things outside of just watching the movie. I mean, I get it to an extent, I get it, but I think it's completely disingenuous to label an entire movie woke because of one line of dialogue or because some characters are black. So Turning Red is obviously woke. It's alienating to a large set of people, I guess, even though it's not, and that's a, a silly statement. How is a kid going through puberty less relatable and by the way not just going through puberty but having to deal with the baggage of not being perfect of not getting you know a's in all of her classes and liking boys and feeling ashamed of the changes going on how can not everyone relate to that but yet a movie like robocop or you know like ratatouille or the batman that's more relatable a billionaire orphan who dresses up as a bat and fights crime. That to you is more relatable than going through body changes. Wow. Okay, wow. Congratulations. You're insane. I love the comments I get where people say, Adam, Hollywood is owned by the libs. It's owned by the Dems, the SJWs. No shit. It's California, dude. These people making the movies are liberal. They have a voice. They want to express themselves. This has not changed in Hollywood over the years. It's always been that way. Well, cancel culture, that's, that's the new thing. Cancel culture has changed it. It's changed everything. People are afraid to say what they want and, and make the things they want to make. I I'm sorry, is South Park not on the air anymore? Is, is Fox News suddenly canceled? I'm pretty sure there's like a whole bunch of right-wing shit that's propped up everywhere. My major problem is that the writing in Hollywood these days seems to be far worse. It's hacky as shit. It's the same woke people working there that always have been, but they're just worse. Like the new generation of writing is just bad. It's, it's, it's too hit over your head now. There's no subtlety. There's no creativity. Everything's a remake or a sequel or a sidequel or a prequel of a fucking sequel of a prequel like they're wedged in it's nonsense it, it's nostalgia bait so much that comes out of hollywood now is soulless it's just a property that's what gets me mad not the not the agenda not the brainwashing of family values and and changing things uh, oh my god we have an asian family in in canada i can't relate to that give me another talking toy film that's where I belong. That's where I like to live. Turning red is not for families because they show some of the struggles that tweens go through. But yeah, I'll take my whole family to the Avengers and watch them kick the shit out of people for two hours. That's fine. I also had some gold comments saying, you're never gonna see Pixar make a movie about a boy going through changes. You're never gonna see their first ejaculation. How do you know? <laughs> we, we very well could. And I wouldn't put it past them to find a clever way to do it. You can not like Turning Red, that's fine. You can, there's plenty of criticisms you can make. I had a couple hangups with the film. But to dismiss it because of the blanket statements of it's not for families, these aren't criticisms about the movies. They're criticisms you have with yourself and you're uncomfortable watching the film because of them. They're your own personal hangups that you're projecting. I personally steer away from politics and religion in general on this channel 
Maybe I shouldn't. I don't know. I just feel like, you know, people have enough of it in their lives. They don't need to hear from me. But to ignore the fact that it's all over our, our entertainment industry and everywhere else would just be silly. Because it is. It, of course it is. But that's what happens when people create content. They want to get their voice out there. They want to express themselves. And the ones that do it right do it subtly. They, they have a clever twist on it. The ones that do it wrong, they, they hit you over the head and you have Ghostbusters answer the call. And I will rightfully call them out on it. But turning red? Really? Saying it's too political? When there's virtually no politics in the thing? And saying Pixar has turned their back on some of their audience and they're going in a new direction? Last year they did a film called Luca, which was great. About two boys, one who was gay and was struggling with that. His father turned his back on him because of it. I, I don't I don't see the issue here. Years back, Pixar did a love story called Wall-E, another brilliant film. It's about climate change. Political? I guess. Get over yourself. This is not new for Pixar. They tell stories, they have unique ideas, and they run with them, and I applaud them. Even if they don't always work for me, I'm glad they're doing new things. We have nine Fast and the Furious films. Nine. And they're not done. That's a bigger problem for me. <laughs> All right, that was a very aggressive rant today. I'm sorry it wasn't the most fun. Usually I have a good time here, but I'm just getting kind of annoyed by all of this. And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Let me know. If you're just gonna waste the characters, call me an SJW woke libtard, leave. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't yet and you're new, maybe think about subscribing to the channel. I post movie related content every single week. Usually it's not this, uh, uh, this aggressive. <laughs> I was just getting annoyed. Like the video if you somewhat agreed with me here. Hit the notification bell so these show up in your feed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. I'm not a betting man, but I'm pretty sure my subscription count's gonna drop quite a bit after this. That's a chance I'm willing to take. As far as I know, this is my only shot on planet Earth. I have no idea what's gonna happen next, if anything. So I wanna make it count and I want to be honest to myself, which means sometimes I throw out a harsh video defending my own personal beliefs. If that's too much for you, fully get it. There's lots of content out there by guys that won't say a single thing, and uh, that's fair. If you like what I'm doing, maybe think about joining me on Patreon at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies, or you can become a join member right here on YouTube. You get access to exclusive videos, badges, just a couple other perks to say, hey Adam, I like what you're doing, I appreciate your honesty, Keep on going. You can also find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Adam where I play Fortnite really badly right now. It's a good time though. <laughs>